Hello everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to part two of the Power Mac G5 Hackintosh build. So this is the part where we can really begin to sink our teeth into this project. Uh, in this part we're going to be installing the motherboard tray, uh, rear panel and the power supply and just sort of getting everything ready to go for the build process which is coming in part three. So um, yeah, let's go. Here is our Power Mac G5 then looking absolutely incredible. Uh, but before we get on with all of the modifications, we just have to remove the rear fan assembly and uh, the power supply. The power supply will be the centre of attention uh, later in the video. Let's get on with our first modification then. This is the rear panel from the Laser Hive. Before we start attacking the back of the G5 with the Dremel, um, we have to test fit uh, the rear panel on the back of the G5 and then pencil out um, the holes for the fan assembly and the IO shield. This is very much a measure twice cut once job. Um, if you mess this up first time then you've messed up your whole G5 case. So um, it was very important to take my time here and just sort of make sure I was getting everything 100% right. After doing that then we can get to work with the Dremel. And guys, just a PSA, if you are planning on doing this project get a proper Dremel. Um, I skimped out, got a super cheap one off eBay and what should have been maybe a 20 minute job turned out to be a 6 hour job. It was absolute torture. It took absolutely forever. Um, but about 40 cutting wheels later we did get there in the end and guys you would not believe the relief when I saw that back panel fall in on itself. Um, <laughs> it just took far far too long. Get a proper Dremel, trust me. So now that the G5 has been cut back we can attach the rear panel uh, properly this time. Now you can see there the little um, screws, they just feed through the holes in the G5 and then there's little nylock nuts on the back. You basically just grab a pair of pliers, hold onto the nut and then screw it in. Um, it works really really well guys and look at that, it just looks amazing. It's really hard to pick it up on video but the rear panel matches the anodized aluminium of the G5 absolutely perfectly. Now that our uh, rear panel is screwed in we can get to work on the fan assembly. And as you can see here, um, I've cut it back and I've installed two standoffs. That's for the little plastic IO surround that you're going to see in a minute um, that basically allows the IO shield to be clipped into. Um, and now we're going to be replacing the fans. I did originally want to reuse those uh, rubber grommets that are used in the, in the original fan assemblies in the G5, but they are so brittle because they're so old now and they were just really, really hard to get out. So I just settled in the end of just using uh, rubberized screws. The fan assemblies, they accept normal 92mm fans, no hassles whatsoever, and uh, the the white on the on the grey just looks absolutely awesome. I was really worried about how weird they were going to look, but it just complements the, the G5's colour scheme really, really well. And now we can screw our um, IO surround in, and it's literally just a case of screwing in those two screws into those uh, standoffs, and then um, it's just a case of sort of screwing it in as it would in normal G5. The only difference is it's uh, sat the opposite way around as um, it did originally. Moving on to one of the more easier parts of this project, the motherboard tray. Um, after removing this uh, weird protective covery thing and then uh, knocking the standoffs off the case with uh, a pair of pliers and a hammer, it was literally just a case of feeding it into those standoffs at the bottom there. As you can see, they just sort of slide in. And then um, screwing three screws into the top up there. It's really a super, super simple job. And it looks a lot more stock than I was expecting. I was expecting it to look a little bit hacked together, a little bit sort of modish. But it looks really, really awesome. Now on to the most nerve-wracking part of this whole project, in my opinion. Uh, the custom power supply. Um, so here we are now taking the G5 PSU apart. And just, if you own a G5 and you've never opened your PSU up before, I recommend you do it now because look at this. Look at the amount of dust that builds up over the years. I'm thinking back to when I had my dual 1.8, how much dust must have been in that PSU. But um, after unscrewing it and then clipping the original power socket out, um, how it came. It was really, really simple, really. That's the massive uh, G5 PSU boards. And this is our custom PSU. Um, original power socket wired up, custom Gelid Silent 6 fans, an insane cable management job, guys, you would not believe and um, I am really really chuffed with how this has turned out. It was an absolute nightmare, especially the cables, getting them all at the exact right length that they need to, so they plug straight into the motherboard without any slack and they're not too tight, it's absolutely perfect. 
all of the fan headers had to be tactically placed in the in the right place so they so they can be hidden out the way. And uh, the airflow, of course, for the fans blowing over the CX500 um, had to be tidy as well. And uh, yeah, I am really, really pleased with how this has turned out. And uh, here it is going into the G5 then. Um, just as it would in the normal G5, it's in its original casing, so it's practically a stock component. The uh, fan assemblies all plug into sort of hidden little places so none of the wires are visible. And um, yeah, just awesome. And there we go, rear panel, rear fan assembly, PSU, and motherboard tray installed. But there is one last mod. And here it is, the G5's original inner structure. Um, this has been modified to fit in uh, in our G5 and not obstruct the motherboard in any way. You can see there the custom Arctic F9 and F8 fans in the original fan assemblies. And uh, this is what I've done, basically. I I've neatly cut it. So it doesn't, there's no chance that it can ever short out the motherboards. Um, and then you can see there on the far left, the standoff has been moved ever so slightly. So um, it allows me to do this. So as you can see there on the far right, the custom uh, placed standoff screws into a motherboard standoff. And um, yeah, that, that's absolutely awesome over there. And then on the left hand side, um, I've got a custom little plate in place that allows me to uh, screw it into an existing standoff again. So. It supports its own weight and it's completely level and it works just as it would in the original G5. And there we go guys, that is our Power Mac G5 looking absolutely incredible. I am beyond happy with how this has turned out. I was expecting it to look a little bit rough around the edges, but it is perfect in every conceivable way. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you did. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.